What started as a project to help improve his chances on the basketball court has turned into a passion project to help others achieve their hoop dreams. It's called Next Level Basketball Camp, and Jamil Abiyad is the man behind the ball joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm well. It's nice to have you here. This is uh, this sounds pretty cool, Jamil. So let's go back and let's start with this where where this all started. For you, you grew up playing basketball. This was your sport and you got into playing professionally, right? Tell me about Correct. your career in basketball. Uh, so I started playing basketball at the age of 13, which is pretty late um, in terms of when most kids start playing basketball. Um, and by the age of 15, I realized that I wanted to play this kind of at the next level. And growing up in a family of five, single mom, four younger brothers, it was kind of hard for me to play um, with these high level exposure teams, competitive teams. Mm -hmm. So by grade 10, I ended up taking a journalism class in high school. Um, that kind of taught me how to use a camera, um, editing software. So I figured this kind of this could be a way to kind of kind of get myself out there to university coaches. Mm -hmm. So I decided to get my brothers or friends, anybody, to come record some of my games, and uh, I put together a little highlight tape, and I sent that out to a bunch of coaches. And from there, I started to get some more interest from universities and colleges outside of Ottawa, where I wanted to kind of go. What happened next? Where did you find yourself? Um, I found myself being able now to pick which university I kind of wanted to go to. Wow. Um, so I kind of narrowed things down, and then from there I went to Bishop's University, uh, played five years there, and then also did the same thing, made a little highlight tape, um, had a few agents that were contacted me, and that helped me get my first professional offer. And you played in Lebanon? Yes. And professional basketball? Professionally, yeah. And you realized early on that those tapes you made had some value to them, right? That that really helped people see who you are and your skills yep. on the court. So you decided to make a career out of it. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty funny. I never thought I would end up where I am right now. And just being back in Ottawa now and playing kind of with a lot of friends and in a bunch of leagues here in Ottawa locally, um, I always see younger kids that are playing and I always wonder like, why are they here? Why aren't you playing somewhere else? Mm -hmm. And it kind of dawned on me that there, there's probably a lot of kids that are in the same shoes that I was growing up. So I figured that I should create kind of like a platform um, that can help these kids get some more awareness, something that I kind of did for myself. So tell me about that platform. Tell me what you do for these kids. So we pretty much um, help any kid that's uh, looking to play at the next level, with, whether, it, whether it be college, university, or even professionally. And um, we create highlight tapes for them, kind of like a little portfolio mm -hmm. that they can send out to university and college coaches that can kind of get them that, that awareness that they don't really have at, the, at that current moment. Yeah to hopefully get them a tryout or even spark interest from a coach to give them a scholarship or anything like that to kind of get to that level that they want to play at. That's pretty cool. Uh, have, have you seen any results yet? Or have you seen some kids through having a video that you made go on to play at the next level, if you will? Yeah, so uh, this is going to be our third year doing this camp. In my first year, actually, um, we had three kids uh, get offers to go play at the college level. Wow. Um, one of them is currently playing right now at uh, Algonquin here who got... Um, all rookie uh, East all rookie team, which was pretty awesome to see. Wow! Um, and from the camp, um, I've realized. So first year we had three. Last year we had two kids, and hopefully to have more going on this year. So you have a camp going on right now for March break. Yep. Um, so it's uh, an, an opportunity. Tell us about the camps themselves. So right now I'm just running a, a March break basketball camp. So just to kind of keep these kids in shape over the break when yep. uh, club basketball is kind of on hold right now. But the main event's going to be at the end of April, which is the 27th, 28th, is the Next Level Media Camp mm -hmm. for ages 16 to 19, um, where they'll be able to come in and showcase their skills. We'll have a bunch of cameras going, so everything gets recorded. Um, each kid is going to end up getting a highlight tip at the end of the two days. Ten kids get selected to move on to day three, which is kind of like the exposure day, yeah. where we have all the university coaches uh, come in and college coaches to kind of watch this uh, big game go on. And this year we're going to be playing against uh, Heritage College, that ended up going 16 and 0 this year. Wow! So it's going to be a, a tough game, and yeah. it's going to be a lot of eyes there. So we're really excited for that. What an opportunity! How do you feel about that? The fact that you're 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 doing something that's really great for kids in our in our community, giving them a chance to shine and maybe go on to have big basketball careers. It makes me happy, just because I wish I would have had something like that when I was younger. Because I mean, having a platform like that is kind of endless, especially today when media is such a big outlet. Yeah. Um, within minutes, you could be famous across the whole world. So. It's just, it's just nice to see, especially when a kid actually makes it to that level, and then just seeing them reach their goals. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Jamil, thank you so much. Nice to meet you, founder of Next Level Media. Thank and again, that much. camp, uh, if people want to, if kids are watching this right now and saying, oh, geez, I want to get into this, mm -hmm. for the end of April, go to your website? 
Yeah, so starting uh, actually next week, you guys can be able to go to our website, nlevelmedia.ca, where you'll be able to, uh, there's going to be a registration link. Okay. And uh, like I said, spots are limited. It's only going to be 20 people. So uh, good luck go. to everybody. <laughs> We're going to have a link to that on our website. Awesome. Tamil, thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you.